let's start with Kansas last night because Kansas number one team in the country. Do you think they're still the number one team in the country? No. Okay. No, I thought Kansas was good. I thought Michigan State's going to get really good, but I no, the number one team in the country is Duke, uh, and, it, and it's not close. But I think Kansas. If, if you said to me, and I heard you guys earlier, and you're so right, man, would that be great if it was Kansas Duke tonight for yes. a champion? Uh, you know, that would be incredible. Get, or, or give them a day to relax and then come back and play it tomorrow. I don't care. Uh, Dan, being there, I thought Kansas was good. I did. I, th- I thought Kansas, the guard play of Quentin Grimes was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, you're really not going to talk about it because you're going to talk about the freshman from Duke. But he was terrific. Uh, the Bigs, Lawson, really good in his debut. I thought Kansas was really good until I saw Duke. Um, and then I thought, wait a second, everybody else is, is, is not on this level, at least last night. And, Dan, I know you're a tad delusional right now, but, yeah. but I try to focus here. Okay. Um, everybody that watched Duke play live in the building and probably at home, you could see a stark difference between between the size, the length of Duke and even Kansas. But I do think it would be a very good game because you said it's, you know, somebody's going to uh, – games are different. Duke was throwing everything in, but Kansas is really good. And I look for Michigan State to get really good. Nick Ward didn't play well. He'll play really well during the year. All right. If you look at this the rest of the year with Duke, um, where do you see where somebody's going to take advantage of them? Or, you know, at least make well, them susceptible. I think, I, I think a couple of things. And I think you said it earlier, you know, maybe it was you, maybe it was somebody else. I've been listening as I'm driving. I'm doing Cincinnati, Ohio State, so I'm driving over to Cincinnati. But I think a couple of things. I, I, I think that, you know, hype around Duke is going to get so big. The environments they're going to play are going to be crazy. Like, even last year, Virginia Tech was an okay team. I did the game. Virginia Tech beat them at Virginia Tech. I think a couple things. I think you got to keep Zion Williamson in front of you. I think people will learn that if he's gonna, you know, if he's gonna jump up over you and make shots, then good for you. But you can't, you can't let him do whatever he wants to do. And then the, the, the R.J. Barrett kid is is a lot like James Hart, Dan. I mean, he oh boy, he 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 gets into those gaps, and it's it's uncanny. Billis was saying it last night. There's just a uh, there's an uncanniness about it. So you've got to be. The guy on the right and the guy on the left have to be in help early to slow him down a little bit, and you got to make it tough for him to get the ball. But early in the season, Dan, let me back up. Kentucky's really good. Like <laughs> yeah. I went to I went to the Bahamas and did their games against pros. They played a Serbian team that had like three guys that were first are going to be first round picks, and there was eighteen or seventeen NBA scouts there. And Kentucky beat them thirty. Like. Kentucky's good, but there isn't a soul going to believe that because they were, Dan, they were the JV playing against the varsity last night. It was literally that stark. If I gave you Duke or the field. Oh, man. Uh, This moment, I'll take Duke. (laughs) I don't think they're going to go undefeated, though. I think 76. I think Quinn Buckner and the boys are going to be popping bottles, you know, a.k.a. uh, Mercury Morris and them at some point, but I, I, right now I got to take Duke. I just, Dan, they beat a really good team and beat them by a thousand last night. How bad do you think they beat Kansas if they played tonight? If they played tonight, I would say it would go down to a five to, you know, if I were going to make a spread, I'd give Duke and I'd give Kansas four or five. I just, I, look, last night, Jack White played great. O'Connell's making everything. Zion Williamson's throwing in shots with his back to the rim, you know, I don't think that would happen tonight, and I think people would, uh, you know, have a little better feel about how to play uh, uh, Barrett, not let him catch the ball, things like that. So I, I would make Duke the favorite, but I wouldn't make him a huge favorite if they played tonight. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.